Tommy, a young boy, lived in a small but comfortable house. Tommy was curious and energetic. He had two loving parents who cared greatly about his happiness and health. One day, after playing outside, Tommy's mom called him for the meal. As they gathered to eat, Tommy's dad said, Tommy, we need to talk about your bedtime. Tommy frowned. He didn't like bedtime because it meant the end of his fun day. Why must I go to bed so early? Tommy, having a good night's sleep is very important. It helps you grow, keeps you healthy, and gives you energy for the next day. But I'm not tired. We understand you don't feel tired right now, but we need to set a bedtime rule. How about we explain why it's important and listen to your thoughts? Tommy nodded, feeling a bit better. Good sleep helps your body and brain. When you sleep, you become stronger and smarter. Also, you'll feel grumpy and tired if you don't get enough sleep. Tommy thought about it. He didn't like feeling grumpy. But can I stay up just a little longer? We want to be fair. How about this? We set your bedtime at 8.30 p.m. That is not fair. Why can you stay up later? I want to stay up later, too. We don't stay up late just for fun. We have our bedtime, but it's a little later than yours because we have adult responsibilities, like taking care of the house and planning for the next day. You need more sleep than we do because you're still growing. But I don't think it's fair. We understand how you feel, but enough sleep helps you grow strong and stay healthy. We want you to have enough energy for all the fun things you do during the day. But why 8.30? Can't it be later? We know it's hard, but we need to set a bedtime to ensure you get enough sleep. How about we make a small change? You can have an extra 15 minutes if you need to finish something important or want to relax a bit. Okay, that sounds better. So, you'll start getting ready for bed at 8.15 p.m. and by 8.30 p.m. If you use your extra 15 minutes, you'll be in bed by 8.45 p.m. Tommy nodded, happy with the plan. He realized his parents cared about his feelings and tried to be fair. That night, when the clock showed 8.15 p.m., his parents reminded him it was time to start getting ready for bed. Tommy climbed into bed. His mom came to kiss him and said, Your little toys are already in bed and waiting for you. Let's see who falls asleep first, you or them. Tommy looked at his toys, which were neatly arranged on his bed. He giggled and snuggled under his cozy blanket. Good night, everyone. Tommy whispered to his toys. He closed his eyes, feeling warm and comfortable in his bed. Tommy listened to the gentle sounds of the night and soon fell asleep, thinking of new adventures with his favorite toys. After some time following his new bedtime rule, Tommy woke up feeling refreshed and happy. He realized that his parents' bedtime rule made him feel good. He had more energy to play and learn new things. Tommy learned that rules were there to help him and that his parents cared about his feelings. They all worked together to create a happy and healthy routine for Tommy. Tommy and his parents lived happily always respecting each other's thoughts and feelings and working together to make their home a place of love and understanding.